pones así? No puedo enviar un video. No puedo agregar un video a eso. It is time, guys. Hurry up. I'm waiting for you. Claudia, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. You? Just fine, just fine. You know, here, working as usual. You working? Oh, I, I don't, I don't understand. Here, as usual, I've been working. 
I have been working. When when do when you the auxiliary has has been? No recuerdo. He estado. Es pasado, ¿verdad? Yes, past is present perfect. Ok. Sí, eso me confunde un poquito. And that's present perfect. Ok. If you remember, we use the present perfect where, well, first when we talk about that situation that started in a certain moment in the past, and has not finished in the present and continues to the future, okay? Oh, okay. Good evening. Good evening. So that's when, that's why when I tell you I have been working, well, actually in this case is present perfect continuous because I am working. I have been working. He estado trabajando, you see? Okay. Okay, and now I rest. You're resting? Yes, I'm resting. I arrive at home at 5 p.m. At 5 p.m.? Yes, I was in, how do you say entrega? Delivering, getting um, out. Oh, I was, you were, I you was were handing down, you were handing down uh, grades, right? Yes, yes. All day, teacher. It All was perfect. Okay. Yes, I have 41 students. And only, only attend eight parents. Oh, really? Yes. Out of 41? Yes, teacher. Wow. A few. There's a few, yes, you're right. Yes. And tell me, how did it go with those parents? Everything was okay? Yes, all okay. That's great, that's great. That's excellent. Yes, yes but it was a boring day. Well, you know, that happens. With parents, it's difficult most of the time. Yes. Right? More difficult. Um, I mean, you got to be patient with them, but still, it's not easy. See, I knew more patience. I hope the friend, paciencia, patient. Patient, yes, you gotta be patient. And how was your day? My day, well, busy. A lot. Really? Because I, I, yeah, I was, well, I was teaching in the morning and then I came home. Then I went to San Salvador for a, for a class. And after that, I had to come back and I hit, listen to this. Uh, let's see, hold on. I hit. Rush hour. Mm. I hit rush hour. Encontré con la hora pico. So it it took me it took me two hours fifteen minutes to get home. You had you had a, a lot of activities. Yes, I do. Actually, I do. 
but you know, it's part of the same way. Claudia, welcome, welcome for being here in the class. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you, welcome. Let's see, Walter, hello, Walter, how are you? Walter? Well, let's see, let's see. I got Anna Claudia, hello, how's everything? Hello, teacher, how are you? Uh, here, uh, I was hearing your conversation with Claudia. And Claudia, I see you work in Colegio Bautista Santa Ana. Yes, Ana Claudia. Ah, awesome. <laughs> because I'm here in Santa Ana too. And that is where I studied a long time ago. <laughs> oh. uh -huh. Excellent. Yes. And teacher, where do you live, by the way? I live in San Martin, San Salvador. Ah. Wow, but going to your home is like coming here to Santa Ana twice. <laughs> I mean, because of the, ay, como que, ay. Ya, no, ay, como se dice, trabazón. Rush hour? No, yes, you mean the, the, the traffic jam. The traffic jams. Uh -huh, today, traffic jam. I, today I, it took me two hours to get from San Salvador to my house. Two hours and 15 minutes, actually. That is what I did in the, I don't know if it's correct to use this verb. That is the time I used to do. No. When I was comm commuting, you said the last time, right? Commuting? Yeah, commuting, commuting. Ah, commuting, commuting. Uh -huh. uh, in, in the morning, there was a kind of two hours or two hours and a half. And when I was coming at home, it was two hours and a half or three. Ah, I was, I was like, <laughs> Yeah, but you were traveling from Santa Ana to? San Salvador every day. Okay. And I was going, I, I had a, like a private transportation. We had a, we were a group, a team. And we paid to someone in- uh, We paid someone? We paid we... someone, okay. We paid someone, but they were picking me up at 4.30 a.m. So uh, just imagine, uh, as far as I remember, I slept like around three or four hours every day. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I survived. Wow. Yeah, but, <laughs> but Santa Ana is far. I mean, I, I could understand, I could understand two hours. Uh, no, but, it's because of the traffic, teacher. No, it's not too, too yeah, but far from, away. From Metro Centro to San Martin, mm -hmm. two hours and 15 minutes. <gasps> My God. Yes. Believe me. It's, oh, I know. That's stressful to be in traffic jam. I mean, mm -hmm. you move just one meter and you stop. Another mm -hmm. meter, you stop. It was crazy. And, and, and what I what is frustrating is that you are not doing anything. You cannot read. You cannot make in any other stuff. No, you are just <laughs> stuck in the traffic jam. But on the other side, my day was. Uh, eh, uh, today is Friday. I was trying to complete the, the platform. And you say in the chat, in the WhatsApp group, that we had to complete until the 1.9 homework? Section one. Section oh, one. Okay. Let me check it. so. It's because um, I'm looking at some, the 1.7, the usage of a few. A little, much. I don't know if we're the, going. To we're going to work that today. Today, ah, yeah, okay. actually, okay. actually, uh, uh, quantifiers. You work with them in the in the basic levels. Mm, I well, we I are making a review. Mm, yes, I was. Uh, well, I was uh, working on that, and also I was working in the one point five. We already made this exercise. Uh, I remember. 
in the class, but there is uh, one tenth, the last one. Um, I grow it as we made it in class, but it's giving an incorrect answer. So I, I give up and I left it in that way. <laughs> uh, the one point five. But up. I gave up. I I'm gave sorry. Up. I gave up. Mm -hmm. I gave up and I left in the that one has grown, but I will continue trying. I don't know what's grown there. Ah, and I was that was my day. I'm happy that today is Friday. Well, welcome to the class. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, guys, let me, before anything else happens, let me get the attendance, please. So, we'll see, okay, okay, okay. Ambar Evi Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Ambar. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Okay. Francisco, no here. Present yes. teacher, I'm here. Oh, Sorry. there you are. Man, I don't know what happens to me. You got a big F on your picture and I never find you. Okay, my teacher. Bad, my bad, my bad. Jose Ernesto Osorio Moran. Present teacher. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher, and I have a question for you. I don't know if you say my name. Uh, before to ask for Anna, Anna Claudia? No, 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 no. I mean, I'm actually not. Right. Okay. No. I'm really so sorry, teacher, because I have a problem with my computer. So I'm making technical support. Okay. No problem. No problem. Now you understand it. And I don't know why I have a poor connection. Everybody does. Okay. I, I got it too. Lucero Abigail Godinez Lopez. Present. Thank you, Lucero. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Ibet Ascenso de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you, William. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's continue. Where are you? Uh, um, Maria Alejandra, hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? <laughs> I'm, well, you know. Here. You see tired. I am. Um, well, you know, traffic does that to me. Yes. It's very difficult, but it's Friday. <laughs> In this week, paid um, payroll, or I don't know. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. people got payment this week, and that affects, that increased the traffic. And besides that, it was raining. <laughs> ah, yes, raining a little. No, yes, not a little. With ah. a lot of earthquake, too. 
Mm. In my house, oh, in my house only see a tringuita. <laughs> Mist. Ah, mist. Mm. But yeah, they but you know. Eat. What about you? Tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? What's you gonna do? Mm, tomorrow uh, is the same. I have a long day, long day, uh -huh, because I work. Um, maybe in the night I buy a. Many things for the tree for Christmas. <laughs> for the Christmas tree. Ah, uh, the Christmas tree. And um, in on Sunday, I think that visiting my mother and see my my dog. And I don't have a plant, but I stay with my mother and I don't know, I see my granny. Okay, that's cool. Yes. You really like spending time with your family. Mm, yes, because um, my granny is there or I feel very sick uh, many Aww. days ago. And I try to pass uh, more time for her. And my granny have a marker or tienda. Okay, a store. A store and try to help uh, on Sunday because my, my I don't know, my, uh, me my, my prima. Cousin? Ah, my cousin uh, don't have a doesn't, son, have. doesn't have to help the on Sundays. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Yes. Just just one correction, Maria Alejandra. I try to spend more time with her. Try uh -huh. to spend. When you talk yes. about pasar tiempo, that's spend in English, okay? Yes, sure. Thank you. Um, and try to spend more time with her for this reason. Okay, that's cool. Excellent. And thank you very much. You're welcome. Teacher. Let's see, let's see. William, hello, William, welcome back. Good evening, teacher. How are you, ready? No. I am sad, teacher. <laughs> Why? You can you can check out the previous classes on the videos. Remember that they are recorded. Okay. They didn't send them in my head, teacher. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem, but we will try to fix that. Don't worry. As long as you don't fail no more classes, we're going to be okay. Okay, it is uh, always ready for uh, to learning English. That's excellent. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thank you, sir. Thanks to you. Let's see. Did I miss someone? Let me check. See. Sylvia, hello, how are you? Okay. How are hello. you? How's everything? I am good, thank you. What about you? Uh, you know, here, just here. Getting ready for the class, but well, ready for the class and getting like you know warm up for the activities we have for tonight okay that's nice <laughs> that's yeah, daddy yeah. and tell me how was your day what did you do today uh, it was good in the morning i i had to to work 
I got up today at like at seven because I had to start uh to start working at at eight. From eight to like four or five p.m. I finished like four or five. It was a good cool. day. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. That's very nice. And tell me, how how are your classes going on? My class is a computer, right? Yeah. Uh, good. Uh, I don't have class tomorrow, Saturday. So I have to, to rest because they have a Bitcoin event again here in El Santo and El Tonco. And, uh, I don't know. But tomorrow um, they are going to have a, an event in uh, Hop House is the name of the place where I receive my class. They have a Bitcoin event and uh, they will cancel the classes for tomorrow. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So you're gonna have the chance to rest a little bit more. Yeah, I have to work. No, no, I'm sorry. I have to rest in the morning. I will not work, and I will start tomorrow like at one p.m. from one to eight. Already. Oh, yeah. Well, from one to eight. Yeah, that's eight eight straight hours. No break time. No, I have one one hour, but I never take my hour because I have too much work, so I don't have time to take my hour. Yeah, that happens, it's particularly on, on weekends. I mean, you must be packed. Yes, that's right. So in the hotel, it's the same all days, but in the bar and restaurant, they are packed. Yeah, I imagine what they got to be full because weekends yeah and and now that the weather has improved for going to the beach i mean more people is like willing to go yeah people are willing to come yeah they it's, are going be, to it's been payday also this week excuse me it's been payday also this week yeah people got mm -hmm. paid so i mean people is eager to go spend money <laughs> Yes, I suppose that tomorrow it's going to be a full day. It's going okay. to be a, I don't know how to say. Hectic? Hectic, yeah. It will be a hectic day for them. Okay, and tell me, which one is uh, like, I mean, which day is harder, Saturday or Sunday? Mm, Saturday and Sunday both. But Sunday evening, um, I'm sorry, Saturday evening, it's very hectic. Oh yeah, I imagine people stay there sometimes and they, if they come, they come pretty late, right? Yes, that's right. And on Sunday also, it's, it's a very hectic. Many people come to, to the beach. That's why, man, I'm sometimes, well, before they made the, 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 what do you call it? Before they made this new street, mm -hmm. the, that's a highway. The highway, I remember traffic there was terrible. Yeah, Sunday, Sunday evening, because before of the pandemic, pandemic, it's the right pronunciation, right? Yeah. Pan pandemic. Before the pandemic, I was studying here in Santa Tecla on Sunday all day from seven in the morning and I finished like at five or 4.30. And I went, I, I came in the bus, I took the bus and then um, the, the traffic was very hard, but just to go to San Salvador going coming to the beach it was it was good but it was the traffic was yeah, going, until, going. yes yeah the traffic was until like el tunco yeah 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, when, whenever I go to Tunco, I mean, I wait until 9 p.m. to mm -hmm. come back to San Salvador because early between 5, 6, 7, mm -hmm. man, that's crazy. Yes. And, and I mean, yeah. I got no problems. I got no problems with uh, traffic. I mean, I can spend as many hours as needed, but that's ridiculous because, I mean, the traffic is nothing. Once you reach uh, La Libertad, I mean, you just go straight. There's yeah, no accidents. I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't know why, but the traffic was very heavy just to, to go through El Puerto de la Libertad. Yeah, Only exactly. in that part and then it was the, the, the street was free from yeah. El Puerto to Santa Tecla. Yeah, I mean, it didn't make sense, but that's traffic for you in El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, that's right. Hey, Sylvia, welcome to the class. Nice talking to you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Walter, hello, Walter, how are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I feel uh, very tired, teacher. <laughs> A heavy day at work? Oh, yes. And, and this week has been um, very, very heavy. Imagine, imagine. Because this time of the year is heavy in all workplaces. And what's the plan for the weekend? What are you going to do? Oh my God, I'm going to plan the weekends. And I had that many activities. Yes. I think your connection. And for example, uh, I need to go and see the soccer final in my, how do you say, Colonia? Neighborhood. Ah, neighborhood. A neighborhood, my uh, final soccer. And prepare a new, uh, a new torneo. Tournament. Tournament. Tournaments. Okay. I'm preparing a new tournaments. Okay, that's great. That's great. So you gotta be ready for next one. Oh yes, yes. And tomorrow, teacher. I go to work. Extra hours, good. teacher. Exactly. Oh, that's exactly. good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, getting oh, yeah. overtime is always good. It's more money. Yeah. Yes, it's good. It's good. Excellent, excellent. Walter, welcome to the class. Thank you. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo, I tell you. Hello, how are you? Really fine, teacher. What about you, teacher? Ah, uh, well, you know, here. Same old story as usual, kind of busy. And tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? Uh, well, I don't know, teacher. Maybe I don't want to work <laughs> because uh, maybe I go to the beach with my friends. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, really nice. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we're going uh, to the one uh, house beach in Atami. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you really your nice. Class, your classmate Sylvia is like uh, five minutes from there. Oh, really? Yeah. She lives uh, at El Sonte. Oh, yeah, that's right. El Sonte is, a, is yes. one of the most beautiful places that La Libertad. Yeah, I like it there. So yeah. you're going to stay you're going to stay at Atami. Atami is nice. Yeah, a time is nice too, but the the, the beach uh, uh, is just a little piece. It, I would rather I like would rather the beach. I would rather uh, El Sun. Yeah, the beach is just a little thingy. Yeah, that's right. So the, those are my plans for this weekend. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So when you got there. Uh, who do you go with, you told me? Uh, with my friends. 
Okay, yeah. and you go, you are planning on going Saturday and staying over. Yeah, uh, Saturday and uh, come back until Sunday. That's Sunday nice. at evening. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Drive safe. Yeah, teacher. We are, we are going to be uh, one uh, uh, house of the beach of one of my friends. So okay. it's really safety. Yeah, and you gotta be also also driving safe. Oh yeah, teacher. Yeah, I have one uh, phrase that yes. says, "If I drink, I don't drive." And that's cool. That's cool. If not, get a designated driver. Yeah, that's right. Well, welcome to the class, Mister. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm just fine. Tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? What you gonna do? Uh, tomorrow in the morning, I need to go to the auto repair shop. I need to, I need to, to um, change oil. Oh, my car. Uh, spending money, spending money, right? No, because my my car is very old. It's it's no no, it's it's cheaper. Yeah. It is cheap. It, yeah, it's cheap. How, how old is your car? It is nineteen. Ninety. Nineteen. 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 Ninety. Ninety nine. Yes. Um, but no me deja, no lo dejo. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. a nice phrase. I just love it, my friend. Yes, I, I prefer it because uh, we have another card, but uh, we have to, to maintenance. maintenance. It, is, it is expensive that, than my car. Oh. Okay, um, which brand is your car? The old one. It is uh, Mazda. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, those were good. Yes. Those cars were good, man. Yes. Even the, yes. the automatic ones, they were pretty good. Yes, but I prefer my, my old car because I can go over there. I, I have gone to I are around 10 times to Guatemala City. Oh, really? Yes. yes uh, How long does it take you from your house to Guatemala driving? I, I, I can see when we go road to, to Candelaria, um, the, uh, three, 350 oh, how, kilometers. How many hours? How many hours? Ah, how many hours? Uh, four hours. Because I, I I have gone to do you know mix uh, Mexico? Mixco. Mixco. It is near to near to Antigua. Up in the mountains? Yes, it is in the mountains. Yes, it's up in the mountains. It is front of oh, you, front of the capital. You can yeah, you can go from there, you can go to to, to, to Pana. I think so. I went a long, long time ago, man. I was young at that time. And free. <laughs> That's the time that I when I was like pulling around, you know, getting to know places. Yes, Guatemala. Guatemala has uh, beautiful places. I, I nice like the weather. weather. In some, yes. Yeah, exactly I, that. I like it's it in Christmas. Cold. It is very nice. It's the cold. In the morning, the temper, temper, temperature, temperature low to 
Не? Не съм предим. Around uh, 12 degree. 12 degrees? Yes. And it is nice because it is in top of the moon. I when I I have gone. Okay. Yes, but plan for this weekend, teacher. And in the afternoon, I maybe I I I will go to play soccer. And okay. And hey, you you lost the semifinals, right? No, no, Walter. No. I, I, oh, no, it was I hear Walter. to Walter tomorrow. We're going to play to play a final. Hey, Walter. No, Walter is just going to watch the finals. Ah, hey, he's happened? not going to play. What happened, Walter? Why are you going? Don't, not don't you remember? Like two weeks ago, they lost the game. No, my friend. Hello, and final. And how do you say Colonia? Neighbor. Uh, neighbor, neighborhood, neighborhood, neighborhood. Oh, yeah, maybe not. And and all right. Um, excuse me, excuse me. No, so no <laughs> we didn't, didn't make it. We didn't get. We didn't make. We didn't make it. We didn't make it. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember I, Walter oh, telling us that they have lost the game. Sorry to hear <laughs> that, man. <laughs> Fito Celaya, no, yeah, not going to play. That's, okay. you know, that's part of the deal. Hey, okay, Wilfredo, well, thank you. Very good teacher. Welcome. Erwin, hello, Erwin. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Very good, very good. I'm very happy to. Oh, really? Yes, it's a feeling from uh, from my hair every day. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. And tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? Well, uh, as you know, I I am working for a restaurant and- Oh, you gotta work. Yeah, uh, th there are my two best days to sales too. Yeah, actually they are. The weekend are good deals in in the in your area. They are good. Yeah, I we had a beautiful day today. Uh, we have a, a lot of visit visitants and visitors. visitors. Okay, thank you. And we sells uh, more or less. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. If the weekends, I'm sure it's gonna be better. Besides yeah. the fact that people has gotten paid, mm -hmm. and we are re receiving, receiving, yes, uh, a lot of foreign people and uh, hermanos lejanos too. Okay, that's cool. So it's going to be an interesting weekend for you. Yeah, I hope so. Well, everybody hopes everything goes fine with you. Thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thank you. Let's see, let's see. Nicolas, hello, Nicolas. Sure, good evening. Good evening. Tell me, Nicolas, where did you go today? Well, hey, today is. Uh, it's a it's a day very very difficult. Uh, uh, we we are uh, meeting with uh, community directive. Uh, okay. And uh, the activities is where it was necessary for for prepare uh one one proposal 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 uh, for the world systems in a community los magueyes in huachapan uh, oh so you have to go all the way to huachapan yes yes uh, in the uh, in the in in the 
a visit for the rural community. The car have uh, problems, mechanics, Ouch. and we we uh, we have a, a repair the car for three hours with oh, with yeah. personal of habitat habitat para la humanidad and oh, yeah. this moment uh, the the time is in, in in the community is is very difficult today and no no uh, no can uh, prepare all activities we uh, couldn't we couldn't we couldn't we couldn't all activities how long we could for this problem and well uh, i uh, i i start my class and in this moment okay perfect nice having you here thank you teacher for for the moment i okay, i am at see. I try uh, cansado? Tired. Tired. Tire. I am a tired. Yeah, I imagine it's a long trip. Thank you, Nicolas, and welcome to the class. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Jose. Hello, Jose. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I apologize because my internet is unstable. Oh, don't worry. Everybody's just like that today. Okay, teacher. Thank you. No problem. Don't worry. Don't I worry. feel a bit, a bit frustrated because I'm missing a good part of the class. Oh, well, you know. That happens, that happens. The important part is that you're here right now and it, let's see, I mean, practice and participate as much as you can. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Let's see, we are going to do an activity. I got two questions for you. When you go shopping, what do you usually buy? I need you to talk about the quantity of each thing you buy, okay? So you are going to be working in, in groups and asking each other, when you go shopping, what do you usually buy? Be sure to include quantity, okay? Because that's what we are going to work with tonight. Let me get them groups ready. Let's see. Okay, let me just fix something up here. Okay, just let me, let me, let me, guys. I'm fixing something in a group. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in.
Hello, teacher. Hello, Susana. Uh, I don't, come on. I don't have There's a... Nicolas. Yes, you have a partner. Nicolas is here. Ah, okay. You can practice with him. It's just that internet is not stable tonight. Okay. okay. Hello. I go out with my with my friends. I have two closer friends, but we mostly go out to mm, eat or have a good conversation, or we go out to dinner, lunch, etc. And when I go out to shopping, I just go into the supermarket. <laughs> and what I usually buy is uh, pounds of sugar, one or two pounds of um, rice. Uh, ah, uh, I also purchase uh, eggs, meal. Eh, hey, what else? Groceries, yeah. mostly. Mm, no, yes, in the supermarket, because then at the market, o sea, en el mercado, at the market, I buy the vegetables and I buy fruits. Uh, fruits, you know, I, ha I, I feel blessed, blessed that here eh, every day uh, in the outside of my home, there are like one, two, three, wow, like five or six sellers. ¿Cómo se dice el vendedor de la calle, teacher? Gente okay. que anda vendiendo. Are there, are those fruit stands or people who's walking? Yes, walking. Ah, ellos andan con su carreta, con su todo, andan pero de todo. Oh, este... that's nice. Sí, yo, no me complico. <laughs> eh, so, I feel blessed in that way because I don't carry out at home too much heavy yeah. things. Yeah. So those uh, sellers, they, I, I, I prefer to purchase to them. I, I feel I'm helping them uh, purchasing their products. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Yes. And what about uh, you, uh, Fernando? <laughs> what do you, yeah, when you go case. shopping? <laughs> my case is similar, similar to <laughs> like you. I, I go to the shopping every fortnight, but I, I go to the, the market, the supermarket, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we have uh, the, the habit with my family to go to the to, the, to go to the supermarket every two weeks, ah, and okay. one weekend we go to the we go to do the shopping, but and only uh, all for the all for the house, the groceries, the medicines, and sometimes clothes or I don't know anything mm -hmm. that my children needs. Mm -hmm. And the other weekend we we stay at home or we go to. We go to, I don't know, a little funny in, in, in the lake or ah, in, in, or in some place that we don't, we don't know. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, I, I don't, I am not a fan of the, of mm -hmm. the shopping. <laughs> yes, me neither. Oh, me neither. Yeah. I guess the last time I purchased something for me, like a pair of shoes or something like that, it was last Christmas. <laughs> yeah, for this, this time. The next <laughs> Friday, by the way, the next Friday is, is your opportunity to go to shop. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Nowadays, I'm not, uh, I, ¿cómo sería? I don't fall. Mm, no caigo en esa. I, in those uh, commercial promotion, commercial days or supposed promotion. No, no. I, I had to educate myself to organize my expenses. Uh, yes, I had to learn how to better use my money. Mm. No. 
my, my case is different in, in this in this day because I work for a for a store, ah. and we have a an employee scum. Oh, so you can take advantage of that. Yeah, that that is scum plus the discount of the Black Friday. So it's, it's a oh, discount makes sense. Where do you work, by the way, Fernando? I work for um I work for. Really, I work for for Simon, but uh -huh. in the, in the franchise part. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I work for uh, Sarah, Bershka, Poland Bay, etc. Mm. Franchise. And you can franchise. Franchise. Ah, okay. Franchise. And you can get discount in all those places, not only in Simon store. Yes. Ah. Yes, because it's the is the is the same group. Mm. But, your different. wife should must be a very happy lady person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it is not a bit discount. But this time, this the, the next Friday, mm -hmm. the product have a discount for, for the day. An additional one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, an additional one. And plus my employee discount is, uh -huh. is a good discount. Uh, oh, yeah. I guess you already watch what you are going to purchase. <laughs> Maybe you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the bad side is that I I will work the ah. the entire day. Well, but you will get paid double, right? Like as a double time, I guess, because uh, the extra hours. Uh, yes, I I I will work to uh, um until ten p.m. Wow, well, yeah, you... and, and I will work in the my work is in is in office. It's in yes, the office, but, it's tired. but this no, no, this day I work in the I will work in the in the store. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that. So even though if you are in the admin, that specific day, I guess is because you are expecting to have a lot of ex Okay, guys. Now, another practice, more questions. You got uh, you got two more questions, and they are pretty interesting ones. One is how many planets do you think have life on them? The other one is what is something that the government spends too much money on, okay? So now we are going to work, but in a different group. Okay, you're going to work with a different person. Just let me do a little something here. Okay, groups are created. For this activity, just four minutes, okay? Let's do it, because then we are going to do a grammar explanation.
Hello, Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Nobody teacher. with you? Uh, nobody with me. Teacher. I sent you to another group. Just tell me. I, I don't understand this question. How many planets do you think have life on them? What I mean? Ah. Ah. I only hear, I only hear what you have here about Marte. Maybe okay. we'll have life because and the, the science. Francisco. Man, I just sent uh, Wilfredo, he was waiting for you, but you were not here. Let me get you to, into another group, okay? Oh, now he's spending too much money on security because of the moment that we are living in El Salvador, the security has to be first. And I think uh, the government has been working too much on that. Yeah. Um, other expense in advertising, for example. Advertisement? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There, there is a uh, you know where is uh, all government uh, in all government spends too much money on advertising over all the, the social media so they they want they want have to I don't know control and inform to the people i don't know mm, yeah i think so so you think That's they're spending too much in publicity for them yeah i i think that the spain is 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 bigger because because i not, not only not, not only this, this government or, or in this country, the 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 anterior institution, the government the ones before uh, the ones before so and uh, they spend a lot of money too, but it is is usual nowadays. But I yeah, think that's, that, that's common happens. Yeah, I think that that's part. It's a bigger expense and insecurity, like Sylvia said. Sell, sell, like Sylvia said. Sell, like Sylvia said. And um, 
don't know. Only, only. And what about the one of the planets? How many planets do you think have life? Oh, we, we discussed about this question with Susan and in my case, I, uh, we don't have proof, but uh, there is a lot of planet and I, I wonder if there, there are, there are, there are, there are a lot of planets and I wonder in what is the reason that all these planets exist. So yeah, you think they should have a purpose? Yeah, the galaxy is uh, immense. Huge, huge. Yes. Oh, the galaxy is huge. The space is huge and we don't know all the planet and it's possible that one, uh, I don't know, any, any planet or one planet uh, had life on them. Okay, well. Probably we'll, we'll never people. know. Yeah, probably we'll never know, but for me there is, there a, there a bit, must be. Yeah, must, must be. be. A risk. Uh -huh. For me, it must be a reason for the existence of of that huge space. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Betsy, let's go back to the main room. Okay. You are on mute, Ana Claudia. Nos quedamos a mitad del chambre, Nicolás. Thank you, José Wilfredo. <laughs> Welcome. Of course. Hmm. I wonder what, what these guys were talking about. That sounds <laughs> interesting. We were with Wilfredo, the new guy in class. <laughs> okay. Y Nicolás talking, having a good conversation. That's great, excellent. That's the idea mm -hmm. of the of the breakout rooms for you mm -hmm. to practice and have conversations. Now, guys, before we go to the book, I would like to, to just to remind you something because this is a topic that you actually have studied already. That is the quantifiers. What are quantifiers? Well. A quantifier is a word that, uh, well, first of all, usually goes before a noun and it expresses the quantity of the object. For example, we say a little milk, okay? A lot of water, some milk. Most quantifiers are followed by a noun. Though it's also possible to use them without a noun when it is clear what we are referring to. As I was giving you the example, like, uh, do you want some milk? And you answer to me, oh, just a little. In that case, you don't need to say, yes, just a little milk, because I already mentioned the, the noun, okay? Like I asked uh, Ana Claudia, uh, do you want some coffee? Of course, a lot of coffee. <laughs> okay, I love <perfect>. coffee. <laughs> Thank you. So 
there are, as she said, she used one quantifier, one of the quantifiers that is used to describe large quantities. Like we got a lot, much, many. There are some others that are used for small quantities, like a little bit, a little, a bit, a few. There are some that are undefined quantities, like they're not, uh, I mean, they're undefined, like uh, some, any, because, okay, would you like some water? And I'm not asking if you like, would, if you would like a lot of water or a little, it's undefined. You are the one who defined when you answer to me, okay? Teacher, I'm sorry. I, I was confused with the exercise in the platform because the number one, I don't know if it's correct, it says there aren't very many. I've never seen that combination and that is supposedly a good combination. There aren't very many books in the library so is it i have seen that combination before that is what i have that doubt oh. very many is correct mm, yeah it can be used very many yes it can Which, be used it, 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 we can use it just with uh Things we can uh, accountable oh. names. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me give you. Uh, there are very many. Like, uh, are there many students? Oh yeah, there are very many of them. Uh, like, uh, you know, Wilfredo, he wanted to have a very big family. Wilfredo Guardado, he told me he wanted to have 25 kids, but uh, he didn't have very many children. Yes, wow. it is used. For me, okay. It sounds like a strange combination, but. Okay. Yeah, you know, there are very many women, very women many. in this uh -huh. class. So it's not, it's not used a lot, but yes, mm -hmm. it can be used. With uncountable, no, with countable names, nouns, countable. Yes, nouns? countable nouns. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I continue. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about the undefined ones, and I told you about some and any, right? There are also a, some that express the idea of mm, sufficient amount, enough, plenty. Like imagine that, uh, uh, imagine that Erwin and me, we decide to go and we decide to have a couple of uh, cups of wine. And I am filling his cup of wine and Erwin tells me, oh, that's enough. That's a quantifier and that express that is, that's the quantity he needs, right? Wine never is enough. <laughs> well, you know, you know, uh, you know that you have had enough. Do you know when you have had enough, Erwin? I'm sorry? Do you know when you have had enough? Uh, drinking wine. Yeah, that's or... when you ran out of it. Uh, well, do you, understand, usually... do you understand that? that expression usually i know when it's enough um i was joking saying no, uh, and no. i am and i am he's joking too another, <laughs> i'm giving you another joke but i take this for you 
<laughs> you have had enough when you run out. Yeah, when you run out of. You have had enough when you run out of. Cuando se le termina. That's when okay. you have had enough. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. So let's continue. Let's yeah. continue. Let me continue. So. Teacher. Uh, yes. No, no. I'm sorry. I I got it now. Thank you. Okay. There are some quantifiers that they have a similar meaning, but they differ because one is used with countable nouns and the other is used with uncountable nouns, okay? Remember that the countable nouns, as the name says, are the ones that we can count, uh, like uh, a table, a chair, a desk, a TV, a computer, a cell phone, okay? Uncountable noun nouns are things that we cannot count and only, remember, only have a singular form, like uh, furniture, we say some furniture. Fruit, remember that word encompasses the whole amount. So we say some fruit. What is it? Yeah, water, exactly. So remember we have much, many, a lot of, in that case, those refer to large quantities, okay? We use many, much, a lot of to refer to big quantities. Now, remember that we use many with countable nouns, but we use much when we are talking about uncountable nouns. We can use a lot or a lot of with both, countable and uncountable nouns. Like, I have a lot of students tonight. I drank a lot of water today. You see, water is uncountable, but students is countable. Uh, in, in modern English, it's more common to use a lot or a lot of instead of many or much, okay? I have many students. I have a lot of students. Now, is it correct to use many and much? Yes, yeah, sure. I mean, all people like me, and what I'm talking about, about all people like me is that uh, people who learn English, when I learned English, we got used to use much, many, and a lot of, but, if you listen just to young people, perhaps they will be using more, a lot of, instead of much or many. And that's normal. Remember that that happens a lot with languages. They change a little bit with the pass of time. So many, we can say many pens, a lot of, a lot of pens. Much money, a lot of money, you see? Uh, we can say examples of this could be like, there are many things to do today. There are many things to do tomorrow. Like Walter has many things to do tomorrow because he's going to work tomorrow, okay? He's going to get overtime tomorrow. Nicolas had many things to do today and time was not enough because their car broke down, okay? Teacher. Yes. I, I have a question. Uh, I I told to my 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 middle kid, my second hijo. Um, when when he go to play, I always say him or told told him that he he needs to drink enough water before to play, but some hours, some hours to play. For example, if he's going to go to play at 2 or 3 p.m., I, I, told, I told him that he needs to, to drink enough liquid, for example. But yeah. if you talk about water, it is correct say enough water, 
Yes. A lot of enough, a lot of gold. Enough refers to to a sufficient quantity. How do I say this? Una cantidad suficiente. Enough quantity. Can be used with countable and in countable and uncountable numbers. I'm um, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Like, uh, well, let's continue. We can say, um, mush Italian wine. It's sold in other countries, right? Now, then we have the opposite. The ones that refer to small quantities, okay? So to talk about small quantities, we can use a few, a little, okay, a bit, or a bit of. Now, how do we use them? We use a few with countable nouns, and a little with uncountable nouns. We can use a bit with uncountable nouns. Just remember that when you use a bit, you're being more informal. Okay. In an informal conversation, you can use a bit. And I'll give you some examples, okay? You can say, uh, I'm sorry, and in this case, there is another expression, a little bit. Yeah, you can say a, a little bit, but in some situations, you can use just a bit. Like, to prepare, to prepare uh, rice, you need to add just a bit of salt, okay? In this case, you are being very specific, but it's more informal, okay? A bit is, is a substitute of a little, okay? And some people, yes, some people say a little bit of salt. I use it a little bit. Uh, do you like it? Uh, just a little bit. But actually, when you are saying a little bit, you are being redundant. Because they mean the same, just that a little is more formal than a bit. So when we use it, we are being redundant when we say a little bit. But it's commonly used. It doesn't mean that it's completely correct, but it's accepted. People accept it, people use it. Okay. Now, when we want to talk about uh, small quantities, but in a negative, we use few and little, and pay attention to this. For negative, we say, little, but with no A. You don't say a little, you say little. How comes? Okay, look, like uh, li little attention is given to the problem of delinquency in El Salvador. That's negative, okay? When you are saying a negative, you use little, not a little. When you're referring to something bad. Thank you very much. And uh, somebody here just remind me of the attendance, guys. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelina Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. 
Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Okay, let's continue. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. Now, some and any. Uh, when we're, when we want to refer to a plural noun or an uncountable noun without giving a specific quantity, we use some or any. We use some for affirmatives and we use any in questions and in negatives, okay? With the exception, when we make our request. Because listen, I told you that we use some for affirmatives and any for negatives and interrogatives. I'll give you some examples. Uh, we'll have some, we will do some exercises about with this topic, okay? Affirmative. Ana Claudia told me that she doesn't want any coffee. That's negative, right? For the negative, we use any. Interrogative. Uh, Ana Claudia, do you have any coffee left in your house? You see, that's interrogative. But the exception, when we make a request, we use some. Do you remember when I was asking you? Ana Claudia, would you like some coffee? It's a request or an offer. In this case, it was an offer, okay? Hey, imagine I go over to visit you, Ana Claudia, and I ask you, hey, can I have some water, please? That's a request. And I am using some. Just remember, for requests and offers, we use some instead of any, okay? Now, uh, we have questions of when asking quantity and you know that that's how many or how much, okay? Now, don't worry, I will prepare some material and, and I will send you the explanation in, uh, as a presentation so you can check it, okay? Now, I did the activity the other way around. I made the explanation and then I will give you the information for you to see. And I'll explain to you why I did it so. Because I want you to check out how much you understood because it's something different when you are just listening rather than when you are uh, reading. Because reading for some of us is easier and actually you get uh, you get the chance to go slowly, to, to reread something, but when you are listening, you gotta be paying attention, okay? Don't worry, I will send you the info. It's just that I want you to, to evaluate yourself, okay? How much you are understanding, or if you need to pay more attention to that specific skill. Now, we are going to go to, to the book, to the manual, okay? Let me share with you. Okay, here we go. Okay, look at the examples in the book, then complete the exercise below. Expression of quantity used with non count nouns. A little, a lot of, some, much, a great deal of, plenty of, no, like, Man, I don't have no time for checking out activities tonight. Look, expression of quantity used with count nouns. 
a few hours, a lot of hours, some hours, many hours, plenty of hours, no hours, okay? So in this case, you know that when you talk about time, when you use the term time, you are talking about a non-count noun. But when you talk about hours, you are talking about a countable noun, okay? Because you can count the hours. Now, you have an exercise here. You have to identify and correct three mistakes related to the use of quantifiers in the statements below. How are you going to do the activity? Pretty simple. You are going to be working in groups. Okay? Let me get it for you guys. Okay, I'll send you the picture so you can have it also there. Remember, if you got your manual handy, we are working in page number 15. So remember, you have to identify the errors and correct them. Okay, you're going to be working in the same groups you worked for the previous activity. So let's do it. It's easy. Three minutes is enough. Hello, Erwin. I think everybody's having trouble troubles with connection right now. Yeah. I'll send you to a group, to another group, okay? Okay. Let's check um, which group is okay for you. Okay, this one.
Let's see, guys. In this case, well, first of all, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ambar, hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher. Okay, in the exercise, you know, Ambar, there were three sentences that are correct, but you don't need to change nothing. Did you identify anyone like that? Yes, in the first sentence. Dana project, the new product will not attract much customer. Uh, the mistake is much because uh, the correct form is many customers, right? Perfect. You got it? Perfect. Thank you very much, Amber. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Jose Wilfredo, tell me about number two. Is there any mistake in okay. number two? In number two, it is necessary to revise some of the components of the marketing strategy. What do you think? Is it correct or not? I guess that is correct, teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much. It is correct. Actually, it is. Okay. So that one, you don't change nothing. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you. Number three. Maria Alejandra, where are you? I'm here, teacher. Okay, number three, Maria Alejandra, what do you think? Is it correct or incorrect? Um, I think that is correct. But... Okay, you think it is correct? I don't know. Yes, because Okay, in that sentence, you say, before sales decline, it is essential that we implement plenty of modifications or many modifications. Uh, okay. Some people could use a great deal of modifications. And it's okay, but it's more informal. That's mm. the only difference. When you say a great deal of, you are speaking in a very informal way. Okay. okay. The correct is with we implement plenty, uh, plenty of or many. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. No, well, thanks to you. Now let's see. Let's see. Number four. What do you think about number four, Claudia Ramos? Is it correct or wrong? Mm. I Number think four that says, yes. Plenty of our customers have expressed satisfaction with the product. Satisfaction with the product. I think it's correct. Perfect, you are right. It is correct. Thank you. Okay, Jose Wilfredo Ayala, number five. Tell me, is it correct or wrong? Okay, let me see, number five. Yep. A little competitors have established low prices for products similar to ours. So a little competitors. Uh, I guess this false is incorrect because you okay. can count the, the competitors. Okay, so in that case, it should be a few. Yeah, a few. Okay, excellent. A few competitors have established low prices for products similar to ours. Excellent. Fernando, number six. What do you think of number six, Fernando? Is it correct or wrong? Number six, supermarkets have places many orders of Vinchotricas this week. Many orders. Uh, many orders is Napcom. 
Many orders. Many is countable. It's used for countable. Yeah, it's used for countable, but orders is not non common. Orders. Okay, <laughs> let's see. You are in a restaurant. Well, you are in the company. Yeah. Okay, and imagine that you have to you have to do the closing, right? Right. And your company is a restaurant. So people order food, okay? Okay. So how many orders did you attend tonight? Am I talking about something countable or uncountable? How many are no, no, countable? Countable, right? Yeah, so it's correct. So, exactly. Perfect. Thank you very much, Fernando. Nothing. See you, teacher. Okay, now it's good when we make the analysis. It helps everyone. Okay, now next exercise, guys. Also, we go back to the manual. Let me show you. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Now we go to the section building vocabulary. And the section building vocabulary says for us, there are various causes that generate the decline of a product, match the causes below to their corresponding definitions. We are going to do it working in pairs so we can do it faster. We got obsolescence, demand downturn, changes in customer preference, global competition. And we have here the presence of innovative products or services cause customers to change their taste and preferences. A significant decline in the competitiveness or value of a product usually because a more innovative or a cheaper one is available. International competing companies may offer better products at cheaper prices and with better distribution, which might cause the decline of locally manufactured products a reduction of customers' interest in buying a product or a service. Okay, guys. Let me get you in the group. Here. Okay. Please, get into the groups, guys. Okay, due to the connectivity problems, I will stay here so I don't lose connection.
for a problem with connection, right, Francisco? Yes, teacher. Uh, this moment I am going away, but the connection is really bad. Yeah, don't worry. You can stay here. It's just a few minutes. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys, let's finish the, this exercise fast. Let's see. Obsolescent, Erwin, what is it? Erwin. I'm sorry. Uh, the number one is a significant, a significant decline in the competitiveness of value of a product, usually because a more innovative or a cheaper one is available. Okay, that's number one. Perfect. Now, number two, demand downturn. Let's see who's gonna help us with this one. Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Sylvia, what do you think? What is demand downturn? Sylvia. 
Well, perhaps she's busy. William, what about you? What do you think is demand downturn? Uh, a reduction of customer interest in buying a product or service. Okay. Number two. Perfect. Number three. Number three, changes in customer preference. Which one do you think is that one, Fernando? Fernando. Hello, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, now I can. Ah, okay, sorry, I have problem with the connection. Uh, changes in customer preference, right? Yep. Uh, the presence of innovative product or service causes customer to change their tastes and preference. Okay, that's quite perfect. Thank you very much. And number four, says global competition and of course we know that global competition got to be right here right now let's see um uh, jose wilfredo would you mind reading number four international, <laughs> international competing companies may offer better products at cheaper prices and with better distribution which may cause decline of locally manufactured products. Okay, perfect. So, Mr. Wilfredo, stay, stay with your microphone on. Thank you, guys. Thanks, all of you, for your effort on the exercise. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Mr. What is something that you can never have too much of? Mm. Do you understand the question? I guess that you want to try that. What is uh, that I don't want to lose up? When you say what is something that you can never have too much of, is like you. It's I like, can live um, without. Maybe yeah, it's something, something like that. that it doesn't matter if you have a lot, you still want more. What is something that you can never have too much of? The, that doesn't matter if I have. Nunca tendrá demasiado de ello. What is something that you can never have too much of? I don't know, maybe... Money. Money okay. can be. Money? Okay, cool, yeah. perfect. It's okay, it's okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Maria Alejandra, what is something that you can never have too much of? I think that I fries. Choose... <laughs> yeah, French fries. <laughs> yes, I think that French fries because I think you that it's all the day. Yes, I love them. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, Fernando was, he's fast. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see, Walter, what is something that you can never have too much of? Walter, your microphone. Excuse me, teacher. Oh my God, what something that kind of and not of and money? <laughs> money? Oh, also <laughs> playing soccer. You love playing soccer. Oh, yes. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, he's very sincere. He says, man, man is the deal. Man is the trick. Okay, now let's see. I got a nice, a beautiful question. Okay. You don't need to tell me the exact amount, but tell me the quantity. Okay. How much money do you spend on clothes? 
Ana Claudia? Ay, Dios. <laughs> None. <laughs> no, None. A few, no, a few, as I was talking before in the breakout room, the last time I purchased clothes, it was last Christmas. Yeah. No, I don't spend too much in clothes. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's nice. What about you, <laughs> Nicolas? How much money do you spend on clothes? Your microphone, Nicolas, please. Well, I I spend money only uh, when I need clothes. Uh, for example, when pants or 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 when uh, the shirt or chemise shirt 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 or shirt. Uh, well, I I don't I don't need uh, spend uh, clothes every day or in in cualquier mo momento. At any given moment. At any given moment. I, I, for for me, no is problem. I okay. uh, only only when I need. Uh, when, Just when you need it. When you really need it. Okay, yes. perfect. What about you, Erwin? How much money do you spend on clothes? Um, maybe uh, fifty dollars a month, every month. Fifty? Sorry. Fifty, you said? Yeah, fifty. Okay. Cool. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, but he's got a family, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, and I always have a budget. I'm oh, I thought it was clothes yeah. just only for you. <laughs> no, it's clothes for your children and wife, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. The same happened to me. Don't worry, Erwin. I mean, I spend on them, but on me, not really. I mean, clothing lasts long. What about you, Wilfredo Guardado? How much money do you spend on clothes? Ooh. For Christmas, it is it is <laughs> crazy. It gets crazy at home. <laughs> yes, because in general, I, I I try to to buy for my children on Christmas, but not necessary on Christmas. But because sometimes they told me, "Hey, Daddy, would you buy buy me please some clothes?" Oh, shirt or shoes, but I I need around three hundred dollars to buy clothes for them. Man, that's a lot. Because yeah, but of course it's just for Christmas that you make the big expense, right? For month, Wilfredo. No, 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 no. Uh, but um, my 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 mid, middle kid, uh, I I remember the um, when the pandemic start, I I bought him uh, uh, soccer shoes for him. Ooh. Three or four months ago, hey daddy, I need another because wow, uh, the, the, he his good very longer <laughs> yeah that's sad. I, I need to buy tennis and soccer shoes uh all they they close yeah but it's kids. because it's growing up <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah they grow up very quickly mm -hmm. yeah they do they grew up they grew he is up 15 quickly. years old and when the pandemic oh, started, yeah. uh, he was around shorter yeah yeah but yeah, now it that's is normal yeah that's normal don't worry don't worry soon it's going to stop and you will relax a little bit <laughs> okay okay guys i need to get the final attendance Ambarelli alfaro gomez present ana claudia gonzalez velasquez present teacher claudia lizard ramos barrientos present daniel eduardo seguera valencia Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. 
José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Sí, sí. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atibio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night, a good weekend. See you Monday. Please work on the platform. Finish the platform. If you can do it tonight, teacher, better. I don't, wanna, uh, I don't know how can I say. Well, I have one um, problem with the platform, with yes. the exercise three. Okay, hold on. Exercise three, you said. Okay, good night, everybody. Is a 1.5. The 1.5, I guess, yeah. is the same error I have. Five. But the number I have see. issue in the number five. Number five. Number five says the low cost provider of a product would rather, okay, many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product with a great caution about war prices. Mm -hmm. That is the way how I, how I organize it, that is giving the, the error that is wrong. Many so. more companies will rather become the low cost provider of because. a product uh -huh. with a great mm -hmm. caution about war prices. You got with the a dash. great or with great? With a great? With, with great. With a great, with a great. Oh, so oh. maybe it's missing A. But it's yeah, not written right it's there. Missing, it's missing the A. You just now need it's to write correct. A. Mm. You just need to write exactly. an A with a great caution. Okay? Oh my God. I will I make have... a report. But yes. I have a problem in this exercise. With... But I, I organize like that, but I got a mistake. Just Did add the letter add A. It? So I also a, added ah, a letter with a great right caution about war prices. Le puso el guión y el punto final. Ah, uh -huh. uh, the last point. Okay. Uh -huh, the, That's mandatory. Exactly. Yes, Fernando. Point. And this. I, 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 the last, uh, I add the last point, but I got the error too. Oh, oh. let me see. Let me see something. Let me see. Something. I, I share with because you. I, I, I read. I write. Wars, but one uh, okay. Right now it's okay. For me, it's okay. Everything. Thank you very much, guys. Good night. Bye bye. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Teacher, the, the exercise two. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night, one, one point. Good one night, point five. One point five. Number two. Yeah, number two. Many distributors. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. no. Okay, let's see. Many distributors will much rather sell our product at a lower price. Will much rather. Oh, yeah. much error is, is the incorrect orders in the sentence. Okay. Okay, it's correct. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Have a good night. Good night. Teacher, you tell me uh, when I start the week yes. you're waiting today. Yes, yes. <laughs> you are mine tonight. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> okay. In 10 minutes, you belong to me, my dear. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. And okay. you? I'm just great. Well, now my gastritis is killing me. Yes, you have a this pain. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's uh, uncomfortable. 
Tell me, Maria Alejandra, is there any problem with the grammar topics? Something that is not clear for you? In this moment, I think no, but... Okay, you would rather be sleeping right now. No, um, I only have the same question that the others... Um, the other... Oh, about the platform. Uh-huh, but... Um, I think you the platform changed the order, uh huh. And I correct, and I okay. <laughs> okay, so did you correct them already? Only one. Ya los yeah. Which is the other one that is giving you problems? ¿Cuál es la otra que And the number five. Number five. Number five is the same. Num the exercise number three. Many more companies, that one? Uh-huh, uh -huh. many more companies. Who will rather, rather become the low cost provider of a product, of a product with a, a grade. grade. Uh, with a grade. With uh, a grade. About, about war prices. Yeah, right. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> Finally. Um, You've been that? fighting with it. Yes, uh, Roxana, give me, uh, send me a, me a message today and say me the number Two and number five. Oh, do me a favor. She asked me for this one, but I was driving. Can you try uh -huh. to hear this answer, please? Yes, yes. I try to. I sent in the WhatsApp and the Roxana say me, you stay in traffic. <laughs> yeah, I was in traffic at the moment. It took me more than two hours to come home from San Salvador, from Garcia. No, Two hours, there. 15 minutes from there to here. Crazy. It was just crazy. Yes. It's very difficult. So, yeah, yes. for ¿cómo sería? I'm lucky. You can just say I'm lucky. Um, I'm lucky to stay in my home and I'm not driving anymore in the night. <laughs> yes, sure. Yes. Because when I drive and I ha I'm staying at traffic, uh, I have a you sleep. stress. No, eh, me da sueño. <laughs> oh, you get sleepy? Uh -huh. I can't sleep it and I don't know. And That's dangerous. Yes, and I don't like to drive in the night. <laughs> you know, for me, I mean, for me to be in traffic like that, I mean, for me, it's okay. I don't get sleepy. I just get tired. Yeah. But not sleepy. I, I mean, I get sleepy. I get sleepy when I'm driving like at 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. No, I wake up. Maybe I ate. <laughs> I ate, but I never wake up. Uh, I don't know. No. <laughs> no, when I, what I mean is that at that time I am coming home. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. That's the thing. I'm not home yet at that time. I'm somewhere. I'm doing something, you know. Yeah, yeah. I know. But it's all the days, or yes. I'm sorry? It's not all the day. No, it's not all the day. Yeah, it's not every day. It's not every day. And it's good. Okay, my dear. Well, uh, listen up. I will have more spaces during the course. So if you have any question and you need to talk to me, let me know so I can program you in any given day. Is that okay for you? 
Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. I think that okay. when I have a the word, you can just directly text me. Uh huh. Yes. Or I pick a time for me. Yeah, that's okay. Perfect. Thank you very much for staying. Have a good night. Have a good night, Peter. Enjoy your Bye. Weekend. Bye. Okay, that was it for tonight. Let's see you tomorrow. Bye.